in 20 school children is affected by ADHD. This is a serious problem that affects not only the child but also the family and potentially the whole class. This short film explains what ADHD is and how it can be treated. ADHD stands for Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. It is a neurobiological condition that disrupts the processing of information in the brain. Contrary to popular belief, ADHD is not caused by poor upbringing. It is a congenital disorder that requires timely treatment. The most prominent characteristics of ADHD are hyperactivity or constant restlessness, attention problems or difficulty concentrating, and impulsiveness or a tendency to act without thinking. Depending on the predominance of one or more of these characteristics, three subtypes of ADHD can be distinguished. The predominantly inattentive type has namely attention-related impediments and therefore often comes across as unmotivated and passive. The predominantly hyperactive impulsive type, on the other hand, is often restless and reacts in impulsively. Finally, many children belong to the combined type, which includes the characteristics of the first two. These children display varying degrees of attention problems, impulsive behavior and hyperactivity. Clearly, ADHD can take on many forms. Either way, it causes inevitable problems at home, at school, and elsewhere. Besides the basic challenges of this condition, children with ADHD often have to deal with other complications. 
These include learning problems such as difficulties with reading, writing or making calculations and behavioural problems such as disobedience, a tendency to quarrel and aggressive reactions. These in turn cause social problems, so it's harder for them to make friends and emotional problems such as being afraid for no apparent reason or being depressed. These children can often suffer from tics and finally as teenagers they are more likely to use drugs. In the interest of the child's development, it is best to treat ADHD in time. Fortunately, thanks to today's effective and safe medication, early treatment can ensure that children with ADHD can concentrate and manage themselves better. This considerably improves the child's quality of life both at home and at school. It is therefore important that the prescription of any medication goes hand in hand with a sound collaboration between doctor, child, parents and teacher. Only this combination yields the best results in the treatment of ADHD. In closing, for an optimal development of the child, it is vitally important that the evolution of the condition is closely monitored for several years. This is the only way to ensure that a child with ADHD has the opportunity to develop a positive self-image.